Bible to the book of Romans. I'm going to teach more on the power of God and the importance of who you are. Amen. Because these days, I realize that a lot of people have given their life to Christ, but yet idols, foundational troubles are still fighting them. Now you come, you said, I am born again. But yet, there are powers that are still fighting you. It's enough for one to confess Jesus as his Lord and personal Savior. But are you baptized of the water and the Spirit? You can say, Oh, I'm a Christian. Do you have the ID card? of Christianity. Oh, I'm a Christian. Are you truly born again? Because I realize that there are Christians and there are born again Christians. Two kind of Christianity. And you hear people saying, ah, that girl, ah, I'm a born again Christian. No, no that one not Christian. The Christian is the church goer. The born again is the one that is best born by spirit. Amen. Amen. There are a lot of us here today. Any arrow will just hit us. There are some iron pan. You shoot at them. It will, the bullet will penetrate. But there are some iron pan. When you shoot, you won't even see the trace. It dep depends on how thick the pan is. And that's why I see bulletproof cars. You shoot at them, but nothing happens. Amen. Are you bulletproof? Are you bulletproof? Hallelujah. Who are you? And what is the level of the power that you have as a Christian? Hear this. As a Christian, you can be sick. But your own sickness is to bring you back to track. For instance, now, this is a straight road, and as a Christian, and suddenly I now started walking this way. And I'm climbing this sticker. It means I'm going. So if I am sick, that sickness will help me to bring me back to my track. Because the moment you are sick as a Christian, you begin to feel afraid and you want to run back to God that will strengthen you and show you direction. Are you getting it? But the, the, if you have cancer as a Christian, your cancer is to strengthen you with God. You have diabetes, it's to strengthen you with God. You have HIV, it's to strengthen you with God. You have malaria, typhoid, it's to strengthen you with God. You have accident, your leg break. That time that you'll be in bed is to strengthen you with, to, with God. You are going astray. Their own sickness and our own is different. So a pastor can die and you go to his grave and lay hand, you get your healing. Even when the body is dead. Are you hearing me? So when a man is sick and is rushed to church, the pastor should show mercy. It is not the power of the pastor. No pastor has any power. The power is the power of God. What gives me joy is seeing people keep being healed. Why do you think for money tonight I sit in the office? I can go and do other things. Go and look for money. Go and do my things. But I sit here waiting for people that will come. I fix a day for deliverance. But take note of me. You cannot rush somebody here and I'll say bring him on so so day. I will try my best to see how I can get it solved. That is what God wants. Amen. Please, know who you are. I've told you time without number, God is no longer God to you. Many of you will get God. He will judge you. Believe that God is your father. Believe that you have a father and son relationship with God. 
He is God who created you. Jesus came and paid price. Jesus is the only son. But now Jesus has made you also sons and daughters of God. Jesus sold his rights to us. Amen? I said Jesus did what? Sold his rights to us. I'm the only son. I say no. I say you are also son to my father. Even in heaven you sit in my right hand where I sit in the right hand of my father. When Jesus was praying, every time he's praying, Father, Father, have mercy on them. Father, have mercy on them. They don't know what they are doing. But when he appears unto his disciples again, what did he say? When they say, teach us how to pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven. Formerly it was Father. Later it becomes Our Father. Hey, are you hearing it? At this time, it's no longer father to Jesus, but our father. Me and you are involved. How do you know your God? Your own Christianity, how do you operate? Do you operate in the spirit or you operate, you see yourself as a man? Because the moment you see yourself as a man, spirit will afflict you. Spirit will destroy you. We live in Africa. Even in the European world, evil things happen. They have Church of Satan. When they say Church of Satan, where did they worship Satan? Some of you say, eh? Did they read they worship Satan now? Wow, for this we go. Which one are they worship? Shurai now waiting. Igbe now waiting. Because those are modernized, they they put AC. Now let's say they get money. If the people get money to they go build fine place. You never see that they dance for, for, for Satan. They preach. If the people preach, then they talk. Now let me show you one scripture. Romans 8 14. He said, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are what? They are the sons of God. Let me see verse 1 of this scripture. Verse 1, please, of it. Look at it. He said, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. So what are you walking after? Are you walking in the flesh? Oh, you are walking in the spirit. Because walking in the flesh is the carnal person. Amen. Walking in the flesh is the carnal person. You come to church, they are teaching you, you believe you know more than your pastor. Ah, this was the topic last year now. Pastor, teach something here. The one they have taught you, what have you done with it? They have taught you, you are a spirit. Yet you see cockroach. Hey, Jesus! Bed fly on your window. Because the bed is seen himself in your window glass. And you begin to make cock, cock, cock. Play with the other bed is seen inside the glass. Cock, cock, cock. As you come up, cut in bed, Jesus. Rikapakato sekete. Zinto se brodo ezeke. Killing the witch physically does not solve your problem. The witch will still torment you even when you are dead. Because the flesh is not a witch. Say that to your neighbor. Say the flesh is not the witch. Killing the witch physically does not solve your problem. Say, my brother, pray. Let me see verse 2 of that scripture. For the law of the Spirit is life in Christ Jesus, that have made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen. Now, 
when they talk about death, many people think when you are a Christian, you are not supposed to die. It's not correct. This death we are talking of is death, internal death. There's what we call internal life. There's what we call internal death. Can you hear this? You can die. When you die and go to heaven, you are not dead. It's internal life. But when you die, you go to hell. That death is completely dead because all your life Are you hearing me? All your life is pain and sorrow. But when you die, go to heaven, you did not die. You did not what? You did not die. You did not die. Heaven is beautiful. The Bible says the floors of heaven are made of gold. Streets are made of gold. So if the streets, the roads are made of gold, it means there are other treasures man have not seen. If they take gold, do kuta. What if they will take flood the ties for inside compound? Heaven is just beautiful. Say to your neighbor, I must make heaven. That is the essence of Christianity. We are teaching you here so that tomorrow you will make heaven. That is the essence of coming to church. Teaching you to make heaven. Not teaching you to hammer. See, can I say something to you? Peace is more than money. Peace is more than money. I know of a man called Hush Puppy. He has so much money hidden in different places. If you tell that man today, give us everything, don't poor man who could leave you. Will he not accept? People are troubled everywhere. You are thinking, see, coming to church today is grace. I'm telling you, it is grace for you to be here. It is grace. Some wants to be here, they cannot come. We, we, church is so polluted these days that nobody talk of the fear of God. Nobody talks of heaven. People who just go to church, all they discuss is money, blessings, this, this. Yes, say to yourself, I can never be poor. But that is not the message Jesus said we should preach. It is not the message. The Bible says, seek first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto it. So it means in churches what we are supposed to be teaching is seek first the kingdom of God. Once you seek first his kingdom, any other you don't need to ask God for money he will give to you. There are things that are your rights. The Lord says seek first kingdom of God. When you seek first the kingdom of God, you don't pray for money money will come. You will pray for marriage, marriage will come. You will pray for children, children will come. You will pray for car, car will come. You will pray for house, house will come. Because what? You seek first the kingdom of God. When you seek car, you will sweat to buy it. You seek us, you will sweat to build it. Don't be deceived. People are saying, look at China. They are so civilized. China is so beautiful. They will show you town for China. They should go and show you village too. We, they still have worse villages that is worse than Obukurusu in China. They are still eating people. Who is more civilized? Do we eat people here in Africa? They are eating people. It's only a village man that eats people. But I show you the main city is beautiful, you know. Even in America, there are potholes, bad roads. Don't show me Texas. Don't show me Beverly Hill or California. Show me the Obo, 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 Manga. There are areas in America, bush, did they there? Ratful compound. go 
to Abuja. Abuja is more beautiful than Turkey. Nowhere in Turkey you can compare with Abuja. Is it Ankara or Istanbul? That is the only two big cities. Some European countries, not London, fine past Abuja. London, no fine reach Abuja. Where for London, fine past Abuja? Remove all the people in London, carry them come Abuja. Remove all the black people for, for this side. Go, go London. Abuja will be ten times more beautiful than London. London is ancient houses. Please. Fear God. Seek first His kingdom. When you go to church, they are preaching Yahu Yahu. Even if you be Yahu Maron, come out there. Because your soul will be lost. Go to a place where you hear a message that will refine you, a message that will make you change. It is not evil to be a bad person. But it becomes evil if you die being a bad person. There's room for repentance. Jesus came for the unbelievers. Jesus came for the sinners. He said he didn't come for Christians. He came to sinners unto repentance. Anywhere they are not teaching message that can change you, that can reprimand you, my brother, run. My sister, take off. You can be a witch, go to a church where you hear the right message, so one day you get tired and say, I don't want to do it again. You are a young woman. You are making so much money. One day you say, no. Listen, I'm tired. I don't want to do it again. But because you are doing Yahoo, you are here in this church and I'm preaching against Yahoo, and you get upset and you move. You are not saved. You are not doing me. You will die and go to hell. You will even be poor on earth before you die. Say, hey, my pastor, my sister, Yahweh, they talk. Is Yahweh a good thing? It's not. So now, because you are my friend, I should celebrate Yahweh. I don't understand. Because you are my friend, I should not be celebrating it. Then when I want to talk about Yahweh, I say, ah, that guy, they, uh... Hallelujah! <laughs> you will hammer this week because of you I won't beg you for money I will teach you the truth I won't ask you I won't if there's anybody in this church that I've asked for one letter I should raise his hand up I won't ask you so church is not really where you go for you are going to look for money you run to church you run to church because you want your life to be built God is the one speaking through pastors. I've told you, any pastor that told you I will work for you, run away. Pastors don't work. Pastors pray. Why do you work if you are serving God? Why do you miss uh, and, uh, all those things? You are serving God now. Amen. So please, know who you are. The content inside of you know who you are. Let me see. Let me show you something. First uh, Samuel 16 verse 7. I pray the scripture for you to know what God sees. God doesn't look at you and God does not look at the appearance. I keep telling you every day. Look at this scripture. It says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not his countenance or on the what height or his statue there eh? because I have refused him. For the Lord said, not as men said, for men look look at, at on the inward appearance, but the Lord look at on the what on the heart. Now, hear this. What does God look at? the heart. And that's why the scripture says, whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Sometimes it's not to bring many, many scriptures to compound so many things for people, but to teach them things that are right. To teach them what? Things that are right. 
So if you are a Christian, it's not the way you dress to church. You, everybody can come to church, but one person will get blessed and the rest will just go empty. What are you thinking? Even right here, what are you thinking? Do you know some people here now looking at time? I mean, church, no one close. Papa, to the priest, they said. And they came 20 minutes ago. Some people are here at 6 o'clock. They are not ready to go. The ones that come 20 minutes ago, they want to leave. And such persons want to be blessed. Such persons need money. Such persons need healing. Such more people need favor. Such persons need husband. Such people need wife. Such people need house. Such people need car. They need business. The only day that is Sabbath day. Please, anywhere you find yourself, and they are not talking about heaven, they are not talking about Christ. Anywhere you see people, bring out money, bring money, this, this, that, 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 that. Be careful. Be careful. If I come up for my church now, eh, my church will fall. If I don't come up for my church, eh, my pastor will fill out. If I die today, people will do this work. Eh? He's just using me to establish a church. But definitely I won't be the one that will continue running it. One day I will go. Somebody will start. No, no, first year. They will give 100 years that believes you will see 100, 100 years from today. So, may that dash you 100 years join your age. If you need to raise your hand up. 100 years join your age. Be ready to pay people to go back to you because you are not thinking of that one. Be ready to pay people that will pack your ship because your grandchildren will not come and pack your ship. If you are praying for your grandchildren to come and pack your ship, then you are praying for your grandchildren to be poor. You are praying for them to be poor because when they are busy, they won't think of that. Christianity without power is useless. Are you hearing me? Let's be realistic. What I'm going to tell you, I know we shock a lot of people. For you to say, I'm a Christian and you don't have power, you are not a Christian. A Christian, they fire you out you enter, you are not a Christian. You see somebody is going to church, he had an accident, he's not a Christian. Haven't you seen somebody who is going to church and he had an accident? He's not a Christian. There's a devil inside. And they will lie on the head of the pastor. Eh? Let me say the church, that he here, church, that person going to go to church, if you get an accident, you are not talking of the content, the container, that person. You are talking of the pastor. Amen. So please, when you are a Christian, think of contacting power. Hello? As a Christian, think of what? Contacting power. Think of what? Contacting power. Do you know many women here? The men that is legend them is the problem they have in life. Do you know there are some women here? The problem they have in life is a man that they slept with the first time. The woman, men also, is the first lady they slept with in their life. Is the reason why they are where they are. When you yoke yourself with somebody and the person is evil, you become evil like him. You must be extremely careful. It's not all marriages that are from God. It's not all union that are from God. And that's why the Bible says, if your hand will not allow you to enter the kingdom of God, what did he say? What about your eyes? You deserve it, be. 
and through the process you you get somebody and you marry the person the person know they go to church if they do it way you say you know go do it way and the person say i know if you go to church what did the person they tell you two different people two different people no pastor will open his mouth and tell you divorce i won't do that but pastor can tell you let your wife go holiday any pastor will tell you that is he has told you divorce so you know what he, oh God, I understand what they happen. Please, let her go and stay with her parents for some time. After some time, let her come back. Let's see, baby, you know. Forget it. There are some things that will never work. Some of you are running from your destiny. Some people, they are running away from their destiny. You must be creative as a woman. Even if you are a teacher, even if you are a doctor, you need a business outside that business. Is a lazy man that works for salary. Here, I'm telling you, forget anything you be. You depend on salary, you are lazy. You wait till they count 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Every day you are cutting. Is that salary I can't back up? Hey, thank God. They don't pay. If some state owe you salary, you go shoot for money. Some state can hold you two years. <laughs> so then how do you survive? Please, even if it's a loan you can take, take loan and start something. Don't be salary dependent. Don't be salary dependent. I'm not diverting from what I'm teaching, but I'm telling you facts. Because some persons will learn more in church than learning in school. Because church, the man who is teaching you might be even polluted, so the demons will just block all your ears. But pastors that teach, some pastors teach the word with power. I have once told you here, if you see the fright maker, you are a lazy woman. Now packaging top make it to what? Planting cheese. Can do cheese. They drop fry make it, seal them, put some more paper, they can't draw a taruhu pepper. Say cheese and chili. Something will be 15 era. They sell them 500. Why? They put cheese and chili. Packaging. They just put the small chili pepper, small for the top pepper. Why don't they go to see the pepper? But, ah, you are looking for the, Okay, just imagine. Uh, uh, Indomie and chicken. Have you not seen it? Open it. Do you see the chicken? But when you cook it, you perceive the aroma. Abby? It has the chicken aroma, right? Now, are you not eating chicken? Packaging. You are not thinking. You are just quiet. The only time why you see women always fighting their husband because when they sit at home, the only problem is their husband. My husband, he never come. My husband, he never send money. My husband, he not do this. My husband. So the only thing they think is their husband. You can sit in one place and carry paper and barrel and begin to think some things you can do with your life. You must teach children skills. You too must be a skillful person. Africans will go to school more than the white people. Are you aware? We go to school more than them. If I should ask all the graduates in this church to stand up, half of the church will be graduates. But if I say now, how many keke drivers you see graduates driving keke? graduates, after your parents have spent millions to send you to school, you know buy something that is not up to one million, you are driving every day, you are getting 300 naira. Who told you that you cannot be a fashion designer? Even at my age, who told you you cannot be a fashion designer? Every 
every young girl in supply has money what they are doing is boutique nonsense every street you have 100 boutique in those days it's only Igbo people that sell clothes in Adiola Road and Market every Okrigwe you have more than 70 boutique so you don't know that the same boutique can be a tailor shop you can rent a shop the way you rent boutique and buy the same dummy and begin to sew nice, nice clothes, hot, hot gowns. Look beautiful and begin to package them for the dummy. You can look at that top because the women, young girls, in a rag, what they wear is rag. You can look at the rag and just go to a back cut material and begin to design. Carry labor, put them and begin to wear dummy. And people will still come and buy. Why are you not thinking? You can't open the shop and say native and culture. You can't even name it be natural. We are Africans. It's not every time English, English. That your hot gun where you wear. They can take a crown, my cap. It will be beautiful. Be creative. Don't waste your brain. You are some baby mamas. You go carry picking. You go everything. You just because you have a baby, so you are lazy. People are learning how to make it, how to fix it. Who may fix it every day? If you start on a bench, upgrade to a plastic chair. From there, upgrade. keep upgrading. If you want your business to flourish, you must spend all you have back to the business. Because what is killing many businesses today is when you make 50,000, you chop 49,500 and five. You say 500. Hello? Do you know there are some people they have shop, but they go around to beg money to pay for the rent? Eh? If you have a shop, you are doing business and you can't pay for the rent, close it. That's not business. You are a businessman and you can't pay for your rent. So it means you are not doing business. Please, as a Christian, yours is to show perfect example. A Christian means somebody when in brain they walk. Because you have the help of the Holy Spirit, it will teach you all things. And even the ones you forgot, it will bring them back to your remembrance. He said, the Holy Ghost, when it has come, it will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. It's a clean spirit. What are you learning from the Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. So please, it is important sometimes we talk to ourselves like this. Do something. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. Let's be on our feet. Are you blessed? Yeah. Hallelujah. essence of Christianity is love. When I'm talking about love, I'm talking about forgiveness also. Because without forgiveness, there will be no love. If you don't forgive, then you don't love. You can't love. Love your enemies. It's difficult, but that is the key to success.